So hello, my name's Michael Keneally, and I'm speaking to you from the far west of Ireland, by the Atlantic Ocean, clearly visible over there, from the Glenif Horseshoe Valley. And this is like part two of a video I did about the miners of this place, because just behind me there is a huge um, cliff left over from the last ice age where a glacier carved out um, this huge cliff with a lake at the bottom and into the cliff starting in the 1850s miners drove shafts to mine for varieties and really uh, you know a tremendous human story grew from that and watch the part one video and there's a lot there but this valley has a much more ancient claim to fame. So above me you can see Dermot and Grania's cave. And so basically, quite simply what happened is that Grania was a beautiful young woman and there was an arranged marriage to the elderly king, uh, Theon. We're talking sort of the end of the Iron Age really, just before the Middle Ages. And at the wedding feast, one of Theon's principal warriors attended, Dermot. And they took one look at each other and knew they were meant for each other. Grania knew she could not stay with her arranged marriage husband. And so the story says how they fled from place to place, from mountaintop to mountaintop, around the west of Ireland here, ever pursued by Fionn and his warrior band, the enraged husband. And Dermot had a, a problem because, of course, he was a noble warrior, he was loyal to his king. And so, their love was so difficult for him, he couldn't consummate it. Indeed, the story goes that it was only eventually consummated when they were crossing a stream and a, a splash from the stream flew upwards and touched Grania's thigh. And she turned and said, you know, I, I, I wish you'd be as bold as that water from that stream to Dermot. So, I mean, that progressed things a bit, but of course, the pursuit continued from mountaintop to mountaintop, Muir Ray just down there near Crowpatrick. And eventually, the, the fugitive couple ended up here. And unfortunately, due to quite bad behaviour on Fian's part, Dermot was killed. And so Dermot was buried in this cave. But that didn't get Theon anywhere because Grania grieved and grieved and grieved. And eventually here she died of grief and so she too was buried in the cave. And the manuscript is, you know, Ireland's greatest love story in a way. And so the two of them are said to be buried up here in Dermot and Grania's cave. And this is just one of the very special spots in the west of Ireland where, through my Druid Forest School, you can book visits to the most incredibly sacred high energy spots around here. And the, and the visits include vision journeys to meet the spirits of place and above all to meet the gods and goddesses of the ancient Irish and they're all listed on a page on the Druid Forest School website and I also teach Druid mystical energy work and the Ogre, the wonderful mystical Celtic tree alphabet of the ancient Irish Druids. But this is like the most impressive story about the importance of love and undying commitment and how it was honoured 
because these two lie buried in the Dermot and Grania cave here. So, hope to hear from you if you enrol on one of my courses to make vision meetings with the gods to do Druid Mystical Energy work to do the Ogham, or to visit the sacred sites where we do the vision journeys here in the west of Ireland from our healing centre, which is actually on the Atlantic coast of the west of Ireland, of County Sligo, with the, you can see the Atlantic here from the foot of the cave. Thank you.